Eugenia and this is Eugenia's kitchen. Today we have the most gorgeous chicken. I bought a whole chicken, it's three pounds, it's a young chicken, it's gorgeous looking. I'll show it to you. Look how beautiful it is. I washed it, just rinse it in the cold water and just pat it dry just a little bit. Don't forget to do that because it does take a lot of than cleaning the sink, cleaning your hands and all that. But there we are. We're going to cook this chicken in the oven. It's going to be delicious. And now we're going to make some sauce we're going to put all over it. I'm going to start making the sauce. So first I'm going to have some mayo. It's my favorite olive oil mayo. And just a big heaping tablespoon, or if you're usually using the measuring spoon, it's probably going to be about two tablespoons. And then I'm going to put about the same amount of sour cream, a really nice dollop, about two tablespoon size as well. Next thing I have some garlic cloves here. I'm going to cut the butts off. I have three, four, five. Whoops. This one doesn't fly away. <laughs> So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna squish my garlic in here. Whoa! Sorry, extra side effects. Do lots of squishing. You can also just buy already squished garlic in a little jar and you can use, um, I say about a tablespoon of it. But here I'm gonna keep on squishing. Keep on squishing. Beautiful, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna mix it in. I'm also gonna put about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of salt. About a teaspoon of ground black pepper. If you like more pepper, go ahead and put some. And here I have some dried oregano. Let's see. About half a teaspoon is a good amount. This is my sauce. So next thing I'm going to do is take the chicken. I have right now the breast up. And I'm gonna take a sharp knife and I'm gonna puncture it a few times. And it's really good that my knife still has garlic on it, so it means I'm already flavoring it. All right. I'm gonna puncture the legs a little bit, the size where I can. And now the messy part. Before I do the messy part, I'm gonna spray my pan with a cooking spray. And now I'm going to take the sauce and rub it all over chicken. That's why I made those little openings so the sauce will go inside of them and the breast will stay tender. So beautiful. I'm also going to put some on the inside. I'm going to take the chicken. Sunny side up. All right. And I'm gonna put the rest of the sauce on the outside of this side. So this is it. The oven's at 350. I'm gonna put it in and I'm going to time it and that's it. And I'll come back to you when it's done. So simple, so easy. That chicken's gonna be so flavorful. Yummy. I'll see you when it's done. After an hour and eight minutes exactly in my oven at 350, this is how delicious this chicken looks. I'm gonna just slice myself a little piece from the side here and we're gonna taste test it. Hopefully it's not piping hot anymore. It is very juicy and extremely delicious looking. Let's try it. There it goes. Mm. Mm. Very tender, delicious skin, delicious meat. Mm, really tasty. The garlic is not so strong anymore like you have it if you had it raw. It has a little bit of a flavor, a little bit of sweetness. The sour cream with is what made it so tender. The mayo gave it just a little bit more flavor. Um, I can barely taste the oregano. I don't know, probably hiding somewhere. Uh, maybe a little bit in the back. 
is delicious. You can always put more if you would like. This is really good. This was quick and easy. Put in the oven and then your dinner is ready after an hour and eight minutes. I'm Zhenya. This is Zhenya's Kitchen. And this is my take on oven roasted chicken.